Hello, and welcome to the first episode of our new MileSite how-to series. This series is all about walking new MileSite users through the initial setup, as well as many of the other basic processes that you might have to go through in the day-to-day -day running of your MileSite system. In this episode, we'll take you through the multiple ways that you can connect your MileSite cameras or MVR to your network, and also how to assign your new camera or MVR an IP address that is on your network. So to start off, we're going to do a quick overview of the different options you have for connecting your MileSite camera and or MVR to your network. It's important to point out that the first part of this how-to video is not brand specific. We are using MileSite purely as an example. The processes we're about to explain can be done with any IP camera or MVR. Now, the most obvious way of connecting an IP device to your network is to simply plug it into one of the network ports on your computer or into a switch directly connected to your computer. But there are two problems with doing it this way. One is that any device connected directly to a computer can only be accessed from that computer and not from anywhere else on the network, which isn't great seeing as the main selling point of IP cameras is the ability to access them from anywhere with an internet connection. The second problem is that although it is physically easy to plug a camera directly into a computer, the technical and confusing processes you have to go through to make the camera accessible are beyond most consumers IT abilities, and so this approach is best avoided. The way we prefer and what we suggest to customers is to connect to your local area network or LAN. You can do this by either connecting directly to your router or broadband hub. Alternatively, you can plug the camera into any PoE switch or a wall-mounted network port that is on the same network as your router. Connecting this way means you can assign the camera or MVR an IP address that is on your network using the smart tools, which we'll talk about in a minute. That IP address can then be entered into a browser on any internet-connected device. The only thing to remember is that at this point the IP address is only set within your LAN and so you will only be able to connect to your IP device with a computer or device that is connected to your local network. To access your camera or MVR from outside of your network you will have two options, either set up dynamic IP connection by port forwarding your router, but this is tricky and we will probably cover in a separate video or forum post. The second and easier way to access your system on the go is to download the M-Site Pro app to your smartphone and set up peer-to-peer -peer connection by scanning the QR code on the camera or MVR and connecting it to the app. Connecting devices to the M-Site Pro app must be done while your mobile is on the same network as the IP devices, but after the connection is made you can log into the app and see your cameras from anywhere as long as you have some form of internet connection. Next, after connecting your cameras or MVR to your network you will need to assign an IP address to the device. Before assigning an IP address, you'll need to find out what the IP range of your network is because if you just assign a device any IP address, it might not be reachable via your router. To find your network's IP range, you'll first have to open Windows Command Prompt. Once open, type ipconfig all lowercase into the command window and hit enter. You'll be shown your IPv4 address, subnet mask and default gateway. Now most home and small business users will see a default gateway address starting 192.168 the two numbers after these ones can be anywhere between 1 and 255. More often than not, the third of the four numbers will be 1, 2 or a similar low number. That third number is the crucial one for assigning IP addresses as this and the first two numbers need to be the same on the IP cameras as the default gateway as these numbers are your router's range. The fourth number is totally up to you and as already mentioned can be any number between 1 and 255. Our advice when assigning IP addresses to multiple IP devices would be to make the fourth number different but sequential. For example, if one camera has the address 192.168.150, then your other camera should have addresses ending 45, 55, 60, or 46, 48, 52. This is simply to keep everything organized and easy to remember. Now to actually change and assign the IP addresses of your milestone cameras, you again have two options either via a browser or by using the easier and more user-friendly smart tool software from Milesite. So before we get started, you will need to go to the link in the description of this video and if you haven't already, download the smart tool software. Once installed, simply open the program and automatically the software will scan the network and display all the IP cameras and MVRs that it finds in a list with information like the MAC address, model number, current firmware and more. Most importantly though, this list will also show you the current IP address of each device on your network. So if you wish to change the IP address of a specific IP camera, simply tick the box on the far left of the list of the camera you want to change. Once you've ticked, you will need to go to the top right and make sure the correct username and password are in the boxes. If this is your first time doing this and you haven't already changed these details, then they will just be the defaults, username admin and password ms1234. 
Important side note, once you complete the initial setup of your cameras and or MVR, please go into the account settings and change the default username and password because leaving these as default can compromise the security of your system. Now the next step after entering the username and password is to go to the bottom of the window just below the list of devices. Here you will find a series of boxes with the details of your selected camera including the IP address. Click in the IP address box and type in a new address and then click the modify button to save the changes. If the change is successful, you should get a confirmation appear in the operating information box at the bottom of the window. The final step is to log into the camera and or MVR. To do this, either open a browser and search the IP address or double click the camera in the smart tools list. A login page should appear, then simply enter the username and password and you should be taken to a live view of the camera. If you do not see a live view but instead get a prompt to install a plugin, then go ahead and install the plugin, log out of the camera and quit the browser. Then simply do as before and open the browser, log into the camera and this time you should see a live view from the camera or MVR. Thank you for watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already please do by clicking the Use IP logo on screen. Check the description below for links to our webshop, Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus feeds. If you want more videos like this click the playlist on screen now. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.